The topic of this video is using average rate of change to identify linear functions. Let's look at a problem. Determine if the given function is linear or nonlinear. Okay, so we need to compute the slope between each pair of adjacent points. So we need to find the slope of those points, the slope of those points, and the slope through those points. Okay. So let's begin. We're always going to call the bottom point point two and the top point point one. And since our slope formula is y2 minus y1 and also x2 minus x1, that means it will always be a 2 minus 1, a bottom minus a top value. Okay, let's proceed. So with the green points, for the y's, bottom minus top would be 2 minus negative 5. And for the x's, bottom minus top would be negative 1, subtract negative 2. In both cases, we're subtracting a negative, and that turns into addition. So we have 2 plus 5 over negative 1 plus 2, which is 7 over 1, which is 7. So steep slope between those adjacent points, 7, 7. All right, moving on to our next slope. And using the same method, y's bottom minus top would be 1 minus 2. X's bottom minus top would be 1 minus negative 1. Subtracting a negative is adding, so we get 1 minus 2 over 1 plus 1, negative 1 over 2, which equals negative 1 half. And at this moment, we can stop. The moment you get two slopes that are different, then you can stop and say this is not linear. So this is a nonlinear function. All right, so let's go ahead and provide a brief sketch uh, showing why these must be nonlinear. So I'm really only going to plot three of the points this time. Let's see, I need to go from a y value of negative 5 up to 1. So I think maybe I'll do this for my graph. So there's 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. My x's are going to go from negative 2 to 1. Okay, great. So I'm just going to plot a couple of these points. So negative 2, negative 5 would be here. Negative 1, positive 2. Well, I guess I do have to go all the way up to 2 with the y's. Didn't notice that. Okay, negative 1, positive 2 would be here. And 1, 1 would be here. So you can see very clearly that you cannot draw one straight line through all three of those points. Uh, that's very clear visual evidence that this is a nonlinear function. And even more specifically than that, the slope between the first pair of adjacent points is very sharp, very steep. That's that 7 that we found. And then the slope between the next pair of adjacent points is negative and very shallow. That's that negative 1 half that we found. So we can see this is very clearly not a linear function. 